gonna try to get the best, best visual on here that I can. And I may stop a couple of times and um, give you a different angle. So we're gonna get started. Obviously, the first thing you need is your canvas. So I'm replacing all three of mine. I'm replacing my quilt backing, my quilt top, and my pickup roller. I've got a 12 foot Millie, and that's what I'm replacing. If you aren't good at remembering which roller is which and which way it goes, I suggest you take a couple of pictures so you know. And I'm taking mine off and replace them one at a time just because. What you'll need beside your canvas, your new canvas, which I have on my website if you need them, you'll need a spool of blue painter's tape. This one's only an inch wide. If you have wider, that's as good, probably better, but I have that one. If you want to replace the wood glue on your rails, which you'll see shortly, you can put that on there, but it's not necessary. These canvases are, are pretty long, so it's really not necessary. The painter's tape holds it uh, really well. I have zippers on my canvas. If you have them on yours, you just get a hold of them and tear them off. And I did on this one already. So I'm gonna go down on this end and get a hold of this and just tear it off. If you want zippers and don't know how to put them on, I have a video on my, um, a link on my website, and I have uh, zippers in stock. I love my zippers. Again, I'm going to tear this one off. Pretty easy. And then I'll just reuse these and put them back on the new canvas. So I'm going to start with my quilt backing roller. Can everyone see okay? Um, so all I'm going to do is just roll it off. Now, see how long these are? I mean, they're like, I don't know, probably three feet long. If you want to save them and cut them and use them for something else, you can. You could probably trim them and put them back on, but I'm going to take them off. So just get it started, get a hold of it, and pull it off of your rail. Not complicated. Now I mentioned um, wood glue, and you can see along this edge, there is a bead of glue that was put down when the originals were put on. I don't think you have to put it on there, but if you want to, again, you can. So I know this roller went on towards the back. So when I have my end of my roller, or end of my canvas going, I want it facing that way. So I'm going to put it on this way and roll it up. So the end, do you understand what I'm saying? So the end will be going back, or the edge of the canvas will be pointing to the back of your machine. So make a note of that if you're gonna pull them all three off at one time. Um, if you want to clean this stuff off, you can. Again, it's not necessary. I'll pull a little bit of it off. I'm just pulling some tape. I put my new overhead lighting system from ABQS up today, and I decided it was a good time to clean Millie especially after I just finished that big custom quilt. I'm not gonna go in and scrape this uh, painter or the uh, wood glue off. It's, it's fine on there, it doesn't hurt anything. If you didn't know it was on there before, you're not gonna know it now. Well, you'll know it, but won't matter. Okay, good enough. So 
now I'm going to get my new leader. Now, of course, these are folded, and the folds come out pretty quickly. So take your first canvas, open it up, just like this. Doesn't matter which end, they're both the same. It's got the edge on one side and the same salvage edge on the other, so it just doesn't matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring this up over this leader. And get it out flat. Move the machine out of the way. Get it all straightened out. Now I'm going to, I am going to take my wood glue just because I have it and I'm just going to spread a bead out over the edge. You don't want to put a lot on there if you're going to use it at all. So I'm just going to put a little dab on there. One of the things that you do want to do, and it's important, is to make sure that you have the end of your canvases equal on both ends of your rail, and when you go to the next, do the next roller, make sure that they're even there. So I'm gonna get my tape out, and I'm just gonna tear some off to get started here. Just pull some off. I'm just gonna put it along here. between the ends of my rollers. If you want to measure it, measure it. I like to because it's important to me to get it pretty darn even. So I've got about three and a quarter. That's pretty good eyeballing. So now I'm going to take it the end that's hanging over and I'm just going to lay it over the edge of my roller bar. check it again and you want these not only even on the ends and clearly putting that bead of wood glue down helped hold it up but I also want to make sure that it's not only even from end to end but even across the front Need to move it this way. That glue holds it really, really well. Perfect. So now I'm just going to take my hand and smooth it and try to keep it even here. need to lift and move you have that option I don't want to move it much but I did want it a little bit now 
I'm just walking along and pressing it onto that glued edge. New canvases are so nice. Okay. Now as I start rolling, oh, I forgot my tape. I'm gonna go along and put some tape along the edge. Put several pieces on there and you'll see where it was already taped. Is this like watching glue dry? <laughs> Little humor. It's cold here in Colorado today. It's a good day to be doing this stuff. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, move that one a little bit. So now we're just gonna roll it on and get it consistently rolled. I don't have my brake on my machine or on my rollers because, and again, taking care of your rollers is so important. Not only when they're putting them on like this to make sure your evens are staying, or your ends are staying even, but when you're quilting, always do this on your rollers they'll last much longer for you and be straight much longer. You don't want them squishy. When you squeeze on them, you want them firm and no play in them. See how I twist it out? I do the same thing when I put a backing on. Good. See how nice that is? All these um, creases will be gone by tomorrow. I want you to really be, um, see what I'm doing here. My hand, I put it underneath a little bit and roll it up, just roll it. Perfect. Now we're ready for the quilt top roller. Now these won't be marked, but if you're standing at your front of your machine and you know which direction they're going, you know that this is the quilt top and this is the quilt backing and that's the pickup. And also my canvas um, from the time I got this Millie the canvases are now a little longer, which is which is really great because you have a little bit of extra canvas to put, you know, a little bit longer quilt on. But do remember too, if you've got a quilt coming clear out to this edge, it's only three inches away from the end of the quilt um, or end of the uh, roller. 
So if your quilt fills up this whole canvas, you don't really have room to um, get your machine off of the edge to do anything to it, which is fine, but just keep that in mind. The quilt that I just took off was 117 inches and it filled these canvases up. So the next one we know comes toward us. So I'm just gonna unroll it again. Get a hold of it, pull it off. still down there pretty well so I'm not even going to take it off but I will put another bead of glue on there because you did see how well that held it up while I was getting it in position and again this is Elmer's wood glue. I don't know that Elmer's regular glue would be as effective. Don't get it on your clothes. I'm sure they have this wood glue at the grocery store or the hardware store for sure. So now this one goes on the opposite way. So I put this one on this way. This one goes the other way. I'll get it up over this roller, get it in position. Same length. Take some tape. I like to have it a little bit rolled out to be prepared. So now again, I'm going to take my canvas, shimmy it over the edge, like so. I'm scooching that one, this one that way a little bit because it appears to be too far down this way. Let's see what's happening here. The glue sets pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. But you do have a couple of minutes to work with it. Not like you won't be able to get it off. Perfect. And again, checking to make sure it's even. you all but I'm pretty particular about this thing and getting my backing on properly
this is how easy this is. It takes 30 minutes. You should talk a lot like I do. ready to start rolling. And again, pay attention to the edge and make sure it's staying in its proper position. When I'm finished with this, I'll show you the new lights. They're amazing. comfortable for you to stand up between the rollers you can do that which is probably what I'll do when I put the back one on I think let's see okay so this canvas is longer but doesn't matter. It's even on this end and it's a little bit longer down there, but it doesn't matter at all. I just don't want them off center a lot. And when I put my zippers back on, I don't want them off center at all. Uh, how often do you change these? Um, I, Lori, I haven't, these uh, canvases, I think my machine is a 2014 and this is the first time I've changed them and they'll last a lot longer if you take care of them the way I've been explaining. Really keep them out and tend to them as not only as you're quilting and when you take a quilt off, get them back in position. Don't let them get all scrunched up and, and weird. I mean, eventually they are going to stretch and pull into the side or pull in from the sides that's normal but it's not like you can't still use them but eventually you do need to replace them and like I said my machine is a 2014 I believe and I'm just now replacing them the first time and it is important that it's even And looking at this, this end is a little bit out further. So I'm gonna unroll this and see what happened. Could be that it's just crooked on the canvas, but I'm gonna unroll it and take it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I see it, okay. I still have time to take this off. And the reason I'm doing it is, if your canvases are crooked, your quilt, quilt will be a little crooked. I'm just going to move this a little bit. I told you I'm really picky about this. So all I'm doing is lifting it up a little bit. See that was put my tape back on I told you I was really particular about this
because it's crooked how crooked how can you get your quilt backing or quilt top on straight and when I put my zippers back on my leaders I'm, I'm sure to keep those really even as well I'll probably go ahead and do that since I'm working here. Okay, I'll get it back on. Were there any other questions that I'm missing? I'll look back at them when I finish and answer any I'm not seeing. Good, much better. Okay, now the third one. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit so you can see there. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Now with the Tower Advance, when I roll the new canvas on, I am going to work a little faster Because I'm going to be using my advance. Because I don't want to take it off. Oh, canvas. Now this one goes that way. It points forward again. It comes underneath. So it's going to hang down back here. Spread it out. Does that make sense when I say it's going to hang down? Because I want the top, when I'm finished, I want the top of the canvas up here. Not, I want it going that way, not back. Run your bead of glue. Where to put my tape? So again, I'm going to, I think I'm going to start with this one in the center because the machine is on. I think it might be a little bit easier to maneuver like that. It looks pretty even on the end there.
So when I put my zippers back on, I don't know if you've ever watched, any of you have ever watched my video on doing it. It's really simple and really easy. And I used to buy zippers the exact same size as my leaders, like 12 foot or 10 foot or 14 foot. And I accidentally ordered 14 foot one the last time. And it was actually much easier to put the zippers on having them longer, so I still divide them in the middle, and I still start them in the middle of the canvas, but they hang out on both ends, which you'll see in a little bit. It's so much easier to put them on and get your machine um, out to the edge with the zipper being longer than the canvas. It worked much better. So I will probably never order just the exact size I need again. So I'm gonna do this and, oh, gotta go back. Drop my tape. So that was a happy accident. Go around and see. Oh, I'm just going to come down this way. Again, I have to be really careful rolling this because of my power advance. I'm gonna make sure it stays on straight. Get it going here. And you have to really watch this end if your machine's parked in the middle or on the end. So I just did. Um, you can't see it down here. Let me move my camera a little bit. So what I did down here, let's get over here. Where, where Millie is, you can get kind of um, crunchy here, so I just lifted it up and put it over the throat of the machine. But I don't want my machine in the middle because that'll put too much, um, in my mind, that puts too much emphasis on pulling it out from the edges. So I'm just gonna do it this way. Get up between the rollers. Or the front of the table. I'm just using my foot pedal because I don't want it rolling continually. So I won't be able to get get it as precise as I want it to be. 
from end to end. If you have a Lucy or Lenny and you don't have the power advance, you just do the same thing you did on the front rollers. Just roll it manually. Perfect. I like the canvas as being a little bit longer. I don't know why. Because like down here, I've literally got like three inches um, on the end of my table, which I'll show you when I finish up here. So when the canvas, when the quilt is not, if I had a quilt the entire length of these canvas, I wouldn't have room to um, do much of anything, although it doesn't really matter. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, that's done. So there you have brand new leaders on your machine. I do have them on my website if you want to order them. And if you want to hang around and watch, I'm going to go ahead and put my zippers back on. It really is pretty fast and pretty easy. So I'm just going to grab the ones I had on and you know, they've got thread on them, but you know what? I don't, I don't care. I'll pick it out, but I want to make sure I get them going in the right direction. So this one, I can see from the threads that this was connected to a leader and the way I put my zippers on, I, I use, uh, two sets of zippers and I open them up. So this will be attached to a leader and then this half will be t attached to a leader. So, and these are already done, so I know I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna take this one, and get my machine down here. Actually, I think I will do that because what am I looking for? My base. Where's my base? Where did I put my base? You need to put your base on. I put it in a special place today. Oh, I hung it up here. So I know exactly where it was. Okay. So you're going to put your base expander on. Because that makes it easier to do. And I will... Um, this is my Hartley base expander. It fits on my Millie. And I am going to take my zippers apart because right now I just tore them off a zip together. So I want you to really see how I do it. So that means I need to get my zippers right back in the position that they were in. So I'm going to take this zipper apart. Just unzip them. There's nothing wrong with my zippers, so I'm just gonna reuse them. So remember I said the piece that was attached to my quilt, the, my quilt backing roller, the bottom of my quilt backing, the top half is going to attach to my take up roller, which you'll see shortly. So I'm going to zip these two back together and you can see there's thread on both pieces where I tore them apart. That's how I know where they go. This will go to the top of the quilt backing. This will go to the bottom of the quilt backing. And I'll get all those threads off later. They're, they're fine. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if these are 12 foot or 14 foot. They've been on there a while. They're probably 12. I think they are. Let me see here. They are. So I'm going to grab, actually, I'm 
going to grab new ones. So I've got three sets of zippers. Sets means one on each side, correct? Now, just because I'm putting a new set on here, that doesn't mean I can't use, like, like that last quilt I had on, I zipped that on and took it off like five times for classes or whatever reason I had to take it and off and put it on. So it doesn't mean I can't take one of these out of my drawer if I need to take a quilt off because the part that's only going to unzip is the part that's on the quilt or the backing. That's going to come off. The other half is going to stay on the canvas. Um, does that make sense to anyone that doesn't know how to use zippers? So I've got a brand new set. I'm keeping them zipped together. And these are 14 feet. And since these canvas, my new canvases are longer, I'm going to use the new ones. So all I do is fold this together. It's this end and this end, and I'm gonna fold it together so I can fold it in half. I'll do this to, um, I'll find the half of my canvas as well. So I'm just running this along the edge. I'm gonna take a trusty marker out of my pocket, and I'm just gonna mark the center. Now, I'm going to uh, find my, oh, here it is. Find my 120 inch tape measure, and I'm going to find the center of my canvas which is going to be longer than this tape measure. But I want to go from one end to the other, all the way out. So right there's 120. So I'm going to mark that right there with my finger and see how long these canvases actually are. So this canvas is actually 132 inches on a 12 foot table. Now, well, I'm assuming that all the canvases I have in, in the shop um, are going to be the same length. If you already have them, they may not be that length because before they weren't this long. So I'm just gonna um, quickly measure again. That first measurement is what you have to worry about because everything else won't matter once you get that first one on. So right there's 120. Then 132 inches. Cool. So then I want to come down half of that. So that would be, tell me people, I'm not mad. Mm. So now I'm going to take my measuring tape and come down halfway. What do you know? It's right where it's, the canvas is folded in the middle. So I'm going to take a pen and put it here right now. I'm also going to grab a cone of thread. You can use whatever color thread you want to. I'm just using white. I'm going to use my cone holder at the top because I don't want to go to the back. So my cone holder just sits up here, goes up, and it just comes right down to my thread guide. Oh, 
up and out, up and out, up and out. And I come down through my tension disc and I hold the top part of my thread through the tensioner. Get this out of the way. Through the tensioner. I do all these things just to show you that we all do them. <laughs> I can't get my thread back up here. Up over these little hooks. I like to do it through both. It's just the, there's two, if you can see, at the top of my cone holder. There's two, or my cone holder has two posts. There's one here and there's one here. And for some reason, I just put it over here and take it up through this thread guide and then over to this one and then right down to my tensioner. I've looped around my thread, uh, thread guides and through my tension discs up under this shepherd's hook through this little eye through the pigtail around the pigtail and then through the eye of the needle, which I forgot to change earlier. Millie got a bath, but I forgot to change her needle, but it should be fine for this. Um, and I did clean it, so I am going to take a tissue and dab out any excess oil. So there's probably some in there. I'm going to vote in case out. Every time I oil my bobbin, I run it off on a little cheater piece of a sandwich. Which I'm going to do now. Put it up underneath. I cleaned her this morning after I put the new lights up and I just finished that quilt. She sounds like a million bucks. They get really dirty and need some attention. I love my Millie. Okay, so now we're ready for the zipper. So let me put my phone back around here. And that might be a little bit close. Can everybody see okay? Thank you, Kim. I had to do the, and Deb, I had to do the calculator. It's been a long day. Okay, now I'm gonna get my zipper. Got it? I got my, I went, doesn't really matter, but this end is the one I usually put down here. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, it doesn't matter. And they're all coming from the same zipper, so it doesn't matter there either. So then I'm going to, Zoom in a little bit here and turn around a little bit. So I've got my center of my canvas marked. Can you guys really see? I'll have to move this as I come down. Um, my center of my canvas is marked and my um, zippers are marked. So I'm just going to roll this up here. And I'm going to take the bottom half. I've got a set of zippers, one on top, one on bottom, just like your jacket. So I'm going to take the one that's facing me, find my center, find the center of my canvas, which we know is the center fold on this, um, on this canvas. So I'm going to put the edge of the zipper. I'm going to come up close so you can see this. And this is already recorded on um, my, you can find it on my website. Um, I want to put the edge of this zipper canvas under the edge of my um, quilt, uh, my canvas on my machine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back down here, find my center, put it underneath in the center, and I'm just going to put a pin right there. Get it even. 
And the way I do this is so I know every time I go to the next leader, they will be in exactly the same place which is very important when you're pinning your quilt on. So I'm going to bring this up here. And I'm going to move just past where I have that uh, pen in. And I also want to, I'm going to move my phone. I also want to, uh, did I move me? Where am I? Yeah. Yeah. So, I also want to, i got to turn this around, I can't see. I've got my center here, and I also want to have the edge of my hopping foot up against the edge of this zipper. And as I, oops, as I come down the edge, I'll, I'll keep scooching these together so that zipper isn't up here. You want to keep the edge right up to the edge of your zipper and you don't want to go over the zipper with your canvas because then when you unzip it as I often do have to unzip um, the canvas gets in the way so you want to make sure you just keep it smooched right up to that edge okay <laughs> turn it around again pins. There is absolutely no reason to go ahead and pin base this the entire way. You just don't need to. You're going to move it as you go. So put three or four in there to give yourself some room. I need to move my light around. It's not like pinning the backing on. You don't have to have that many in there because you're going to move them. Now, again, you got your base on. I don't have my brake on here because I had it off earlier, but it's no big deal. I don't need it anyway. So all I'm going to do is pull up my bobbin thread, get my needle squished again. And I think I'm going to try to bring you over here so you can see a little bit better. Would that help? Again, if it's not great, I have it already recorded and it's a pretty good video. I have somebody helping me on that one. So I'm just going along. Keeping the edges of the edge of the canvas and edge of the zipper smushed together. Get to a pin, move it. You're not going to be a speed demon here, you're just getting the edge stitched down. The base is so helpful to have on there. Move the pen, squish it up, and I'm using white thread, but let's face it, this doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be done. I'm really only using two pens. Good she sounds, being clean. Purring like a kitten. She's actually quieter than my girls. So as you get close to the edge or the end of your uh, canvas, you'll probably have to unroll it a little bit to get out to the edge because the canvases are long especially on these new ones, they're, they're long. 
so I don't have room to get out to the end without moving it. Which I'm going to turn my camera so you can see now that I'm down at the bottom here. I know I can move this somehow. Okay. Eh, close enough. So I'm going to uh, relax this a little bit, move my pen, because I need to move my canvas into the edge, or into the, away from the edge of the table. mentioned earlier that the uh, zipper actually hangs off the edge of the quilt and I so like that as opposed to being right even or off uh, inside the edge of the canvas leader. So I'm going to unroll it some more so I can move it out away from the end of the table. Now at this point, I'm in stitch regulated mode, but I really have to, um, but I really have to, um, well, it didn't help. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I've lifted, ouch, lifted it up off the edge because I want to get down to the edge of the canvas. And I am in stitch regulated, but right now I'm carefully moving my fabric, not as much my machine because I don't have room. And in stitch regulator, I kind of have to fake it. Now, once I'm at the edge, Gals and guys, I can't tell you how much easier this is when you put the zippers on that are longer than your canvas. It's amazing. Oh, I'm bleeding. I poked myself. No blood on my new canvas. Not yet. So now that I'm at the end, all I'm going to do is start stitching back. Again, carefully because you need to be careful. So now I'm going to shut this off and see if I can get out to the edge, and I can. So I'm going to roll this back a little bit. And now I'm holding the end. I'm holding the end of the canvas here. And I'm just going to work my way back to the middle. So holding it taut. And I'm leaning on my uh, belly bar, my backing bar, because I don't have my brake on. Keeping this taut. Super easy. back to the middle. So I'm going to stop, move back out a bit. That's where I started. So now I'm going to move this up and I'm going to continue down this side just like I did on the other one. So I'm going to stick a couple of the corsage pins, which is what I use. And to get me going, you could go down every few inches and put one in there, but 
no, no need really. I'm going to take this one out of my way. Now we're going to go down the other way. I know my hand is in your way, but I have to, I have to pinch this together and I don't, I'm not comfortable doing it this way. I guess it works. Again, you're keeping these together. back. Move down. Move out. Wait till you see the next step. So easy. I'll move out. Put another pen in here. Going this direction for me seems easier than going the other way. I don't know exactly why. there. So I'm, I, I am manipulating the zipper with my finger and my thumb. I'm just keeping them together. It's a good idea to shut it off when you have to move because you can have an accident and stitch your zippers. Not that I would know anything about that. Okay, I'm getting out to the end again, and again, I'm going to have to pull it in a little bit because I can't get out to the end of the canvas or to the end of the, yeah, to the end of the canvas. Cause it's long. These are awesome. So I could literally put a 130 inch wide quilt on these canvases. Not that I want to, but I could. Loosen this off a little bit so I can pull my canvas down to towards the middle of the table. the end, get it right up against my zipper. part you get to stitch backwards well to the other direction and it's already stitched down so that makes it easier keep your canvases straight
up on. Oh, my light cord. That's not good. I'll have to fix that. Much better. first zipper is on now the next one this is really cool this is the best part you're not dealing with a half inch zipper um, you're dealing with that's floating in the air you're dealing with a set of zippers that's already on here here's one half sewn on the other half is free so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring my machine approximately back into the middle of my quilt. Then I'm going to reach up and get my backing canvas, my, the, my pickup roller canvas. Oops, going the wrong way. So I'm gonna unwind it, get it down where I need it to be. Now this is where it would be helpful to have my brake on, but I'm not gonna take the time to put it on right now. Oh, no way. Okay, get this down to where it's comfortable for you to hold and get your other um, leader in position. So then I'm gonna take another pin I'm bring you down here to see this. I'm just going to take another pin and I'm literally just going to bring these two together so they're straight. I don't want one pulling one way or the other. They have to be perfectly straight. So I've got my needle in the zipper canvas, the canvas where the zipper is that I just installed. So I'm going right behind it. They're smushed together. I don't have any play in either one of the leaders. So I'm going to put a pin in here. I'm gonna go out this way. I'm gonna go out to the edge of the base because it's kind of hard to get it to come back up on the uh, other end with the base on there. So I'm gonna move my needle and get it out of the way. Go in there. Ouch. Okay. Now, that one in there, keep it taut, keep them straight, keep them um, in position. Ow, and stop poking yourself. Okay, there we go. Just need to hold it. Okay, so now I'm literally going to go on the other zipper. Okay, so one we just did, the next one behind it. So I'm just going to, I lifted my thread up, not my needle up. Get my thread up, got the zipper, edge of the zipper, the other top of the zipper, put my needle down, bring my bobbin thread up. Did I get a hold of it? Nope. There we go. Get my thread all the way. I'm going to do a couple back tacks, and I'm just going to start down to the other end. This is so much easier when you have this first half on. So much easier. Stitch with your needle down so when you have to stop to maneuver things, your needle stays in position as always when you're quilting. Okay, 
move that one out of the way. Come down again. Back in view. I know that um, you're so you can when your canvas gets stretched out. I been told or well you you can uh, zip them together and roll them back and forth and mess them down and I'm not going to tell you not to but I know I did one time and my zipper my um, canvas is shrank so much that I had to replace them anyway <laughs> And in the scheme of things, I use these machines every day. This is my job. So I have no problem maintaining it and doing what I need to do to keep it in tip-top shape and performing to its best of its ability. working with your machine and the talent that you have it makes you look good makes you look better take that one out Remember, I can't get over clear to the edge. I want to get as close as I can. It's easier on the second one than the first one, but that's literally as far as I can go on this edge. I just moved my top, not my, the top of my quilt back in roll. Carefully here so you don't your finger. Now, get it back that way. So I'm going to get my canvas back up nice and flat. the center where I'm not secure so I'm gonna come in and back you off a little bit here I'm sure you don't need to see my head put in a couple more pins just to keep it controlled Take that one out it's so much easier going this way and I don't start at that end and zip or um, stitch it all this way because I don't want things shifting so I start in the middle the same reason I do my 
when I base my quilt. I start in the middle and go out to the tip. Are you all terribly bored? Almost finished. That one out. This one. So we're getting close to the edge again, so I'm going to have to maneuver my front roller a little bit in a minute. Okay, I'm going to loosen this off, back it up a little bit, I'm going to loosen the back too might be more helpful. Again, I'm keeping them even and square. Down there where it needs to be. So I got off there a little bit. I'll just rip it off. Just go back and start it again. You don't want a gap between your canvas edge and your zipper edge unless you have it consistently gapped the entire way so it's easier to try to keep it up on that edge than try to keep a consistent gap again. Tighten it back up. Keep it straight. Cut my thread. Make sure I didn't really want to cut my thread. I'm zipping back the other way. Or stitching back the other way. was going a bit faster than I have my machine set for. And you don't want to do that. That's why we have to switch regulators. Now, what I'm going to do 
trim these threads off. And I'm just going to roll the canvases back and forth a minute. And the purpose of me doing that is just to kind of um, let them gel in together because they're both new and both, uh, they need it. Now I don't have my brake on, so I'm, I'm, and I do this when I'm rolling my quilt too. I put my hand here on the, um, I usually have my knob, my, my round knob there. Can you see that? Nope. Okay. I usually have my round knob on, and I don't think I can get my camera down that far at the moment. But anyway, I'm winding the fa I can't, canvas on. I'm just going to wind it a couple of feet, and then roll it back. We only have one more zipper to put on. That's it. And I'm going to roll it back this way. Keeping, keeping everything nice and taut. I feel like I need to work my hand down the edge of the leader. Just like this. Down here. I keep losing my scissors. Where did I put them? I don't know. this way a little bit and then I'll roll it back to pretty much center. Again, I'm really pushing this canvas out. Keeping these edges even. You can keep them even a long, long time if you take care of them and keep them in position. Okay, so now I'm going to roll it back. So about right there. Now all I have to do is unzip these two zippers. Just unzip them. Then I take another set of zippers. Remember, I'm putting new zippers on, and I'm going to unzip them. So I have three machines in my shop. So every one of my machines has zippers on them, and I put them on in the exact same position. So if I have to take one quilt off, I can take it over and zip it on Freddie, or I can take it over and zip it on Lucy. I can take it over and zip it on Lenny, because my zippers are all going the exact same direction. So I'm going to unzip this, just like that. Now I want to attach half of it to the pickup roller, right? Because remember, we've got half of the set on our uh, the bottom of our quilt backing. We've got half of the set on the top of our quilt backing. Now we need to get half of one on our quilt top roller. I always pin my quilt top. I don't let it float. So I'm going to take my other zipper and I'm going to match it up, male and female end, zip it together. Just like this. Then all I have to do is come back. I think I better roll that up a little bit. Move you in a little bit. Good. Now I'm going to take my 
quilt top roller. Again, making sure it's rolled up properly, nice and even, nice and tight. I'm going to bring this down. This is my quilt backing roll, the top of my quilt backing. I need to roll it up a little bit more. Get it to where it's comfortable for you to work with. Then I bring up my quilt top roller. I'm going to lay it on my base. I'm going to bring my quilt um, pickup roller um, canvas, and I'm going to meet them together on the on the uh, ruler base in the center. If you have them too loose, you don't know if you have them in the center or not because they're sloppy. So get them, get them uh, flat and tight. So I just simply pinch these two in the middle again. I take another pin, pin it so it is right there even with the edge of the zipper, it's not pulling one way or the other, they're flat this way. And they, oh, I'm just gonna thread my needle again. I didn't do a very good job getting my band-aid on. Or keeping up with my scissors. And um, over the Christmas holidays, I think I'm going to change out my hopping foot to the new foot change, interchange foot. Ouch. Okay. So now we're ready to stitch again. I'm gonna go down to the other end, just like I did before. Get it in the center, put my needle up and down, get my thread up. and thread. Do a couple of stitches to back tack and take off. Pinching these together. Once you have one half attached to the other leader, it's much easier than the first one. Just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm not even pinning it now. I can go in and I've got the edge of my fingernail up against the teeth of the zipper. I'll show you when I get back down there. And I can pinch them together much easier. Relax it off a little bit so I can move it out to the edge. back the other way. Stop and get everything nice and flat again.
Back to where I started. I can just pinch it together with my fingers. The fingernails on the edge of the zipper. I'm just doing it, just pinching it. it out so I can get to the corner. Back to the center. thread. Now, again, unzip this half. I got that one a little close. So now I'm going to take the other three halves of the zippers. I've got one piece free and one piece um, that one set that's still stitched or um, zipped together and the other half that's free. So I'm going to take this piece and find a mate for it that's the other end. Where does it need to go? Right here. Zip it together. <laughs> Unzip this other half, which is really fun to do. This piece goes up on the pickup roller. The last piece goes back on the, the quilt backing roller. Just like this. Zip it on. So that's how easy it is to get new canvases on your rails.
new zippers on your canvases. So good. This up here. Get the out of the way. Go back here and roll this up. Oh, there's my scissors. There you go. And again, always get your canvas flat when you um, keep it tucked into itself or tied into itself as you're, as you're quilting and tied into itself when you take a quilt off and all other times. If you keep your canvases nice and even and tight they'll last much longer and doing this on them just pushing them out towards the ends from the center will keep your ends um, in much better uh, lined up position for a much longer time so thanks for spending what seems like a day with me i hope that helped if you have any questions um, send me a message or post on here and i will respond have a good evening